I'm Padami Zanzamela. I'm from Business Day and Financial Mail. Sia Tuza is here to tell us about his breakthrough project and how to store energy. Welcome to Business Day and Financial Mail. What do you think is the solution to the low supply of energy in South Africa and Africa? I don't think that there is a single solution to a problem as complex as energy. But what I do believe is that a multifaceted approach is actually needed for energy. You can't just advocate for renewables alone or for fossil fuel based energy. What we truly need is, a, is, a, is, a, is an approach that A, acknowledges the abundant fossil resources of Africa, our abundance of solar, of wind, and it's a question of how do we all integrate that into an, a balanced energy supply. For instance, in my uh, field, which is energy storage, I saw an opportunity to use microfuel cells, given the fact that South Africa has the highest uh, global platinum reserves, which is a key catalyst in fuel cells. I saw an opportunity as an engineer to actually find uh, a space where I can innovate. And I think we need more of those, we need more technology, we need more Africans working as engineers, as scientists, to actually take ownership of, the, um, of, the, of our energy economy. You describe yourself as having a passion for African innovation. The way I'm going to be driving that passion is through, in my field as an engineer, is through developing energy technologies, particularly energy storage, in order to harness the power of the sun and to store it so that when there is no sun, people can still have power. It's basically a fuel cell, and a fuel cell is a device that converts chemical energy into electric energy. The advantage of fuel cells over batteries is that you can store energy for longer periods of time. That's the main advantage, and that is the reason why I chose to actually focus my efforts on fuel cells. As time increases, cell phones need to be charged more often because of just these rising energy requirements of cell phones. And what that showed me is that surely there's an opportunity here to actually innovate. The platform that I was most interested in was in, it was in microfuel cells. And the reason being is that microfuel cells have higher energy densities. And what that basically means is that with higher energy densities, you can actually store energy for longer periods of time, given the same volume. The first point is to prove proof of concept that it is actually technologically feasible. Uh, the next point right now is to then scale it up, which is another effort. But proof of concept has been demonstrated. I come from a North Crest, MTAT. I was very, very curious. I was one of those kids where I never stopped asking questions. I just had this burning desire to figure out how things worked. I had a thirst for knowledge. I went to Mtata International School. And we hear that you then got a scholarship to St. John's College in Johannesburg. Through a company called Umbono, which is now known as Utibanisa, through the Nkaganipo Education Trust. And what this trust does is that it, it identifies black kids with potential and um, gives them a world-class education. And I was a beneficiary of that. I was raised by a single mother, a strong woman, a strong Christian who instilled a lot of uh, values that make me the man I am today. Do engineers believe in God? I can't speak for engineers because um, you know people have their opinions. But um, speaking as Usia Bulela Kuza, um, my story would not be possible without God has done for me.